Welcome to Tinicum Park. Nestled on the narrow strip of land between the Delaware River and the Delaware Canal, Tinicum has a multitude of pin positions, but today we're looking at the layout used for the 2022 Tinicum Open, a par 57 at 6,314 feet. Let's jump in. We begin with a fairly challenging throw if you don't have 400 feet of power. Through this gap is the common play with either a backhand turnover or a forehand out into the open field. If you hit the gap, it's an easy par regardless of where you land, but if you hit the right line, you could start off with a birdie. Hole 2 is a 300 foot low ceiling tunnel shot with a slight right finish. However, if you are more comfortable with a flex backhand or low skipping forehand, you can make those work as well as you maneuver through the trees that line the main fairway. Pretty much whatever you want to throw 400 feet will work here on hole 3. The only danger is a very wide backhand hyzer getting caught up in the right side trees or going long onto the OB road. Our first par 4 comes in at 553 feet. A few lines off the tee to choose from, the tight straight gap to where the drone is flying, or the water line to the right. You can also try to get out into the field to give yourself some more airspace to work with on your second shot. Regardless, you want to get over the hill so you can see the basket in your second, making it much easier to find a line through this random assortment of trees. OB Road all along the right side also adds difficulty to this already difficult hole. After a long walk diagonally across the field, you are rewarded with a wide open 254 foot shot to a basket with nothing but wind as defense. If you can hit your mark, this should be an easy birdie. A backhand hyzer thrower's dream awaits you on hole 6. Nothing but air on the right side as you swing into the green with only a few trees to miss. Low ceiling if you come in early and unfriendly rough if you go long of the basket. Throwing past the totem on hole 7, you have a par 4 at only 377 feet. Two less than 5 foot gaps shaped for a flex backhand or a dead straight shot. Landing near the short basket is a good landing spot and will leave you with a short chip up to the long pin that we can see in the distance. A short 202 feet for hole 8. Forehand or baby backhand flex will get you to the circle. Plenty of guardian trees keeping you out of the circle and can also make for some tricky putts. Shortest hole in the course at 135 feet. We are flying the backhand line, but there is also a wider forehand line that could be a skip ace chance. Pretty much a must get birdie. After a quick walk down the Delaware Canal Trail, we find that the course starts to open up a bit, starting here with hole 10. 294 feet, pretty much any throw will work and you just have to avoid these last few trees to give yourself a birdie putt. A few low branches makes hole 11 trickier than it appears at first glance. A low forehand will shape best for this hole as there isn't enough room for the backhand turnover, but there is a sneaky backdoor route to the right if backhand is your only option. Regardless, 376 feet of low ceiling makes this a difficult one to get. Similar distance on hole 12, but much more airspace to work with. The basket is tucked just far enough behind the first few trees that if you hit and fall, you'll have an outside of the circle putt. Moby Creek behind can also come into play. The sun came out for us on hole 13, where we have a 304 foot par 3. A straight backhand, with something that will start fading at the end, should bring you right up to the pin. Tree kicks could have you flirting with the creek all along the left side as well. Here is your 267 foot 10 foot wide tunnel shot. Whatever you have that goes straight is the play. There is also room for a wider backhand if you want to give that a shot. Hole 15 looks pretty wide open, but the overhanging branches on both sides prevents you from throwing anything with much height or movement. Another straight and low as you can throw shot will get you there. Hole 16 is probably one of the easier shot shapes in the course. A pushing backhand hyzer will get you out of the trees into the open you have to push close to this last tree and not have your disc go well left of the basket. Forehand flex is also an option if you have the distance. Distance is the main challenge on hole 17. Nothing in the way but your own ability to throw 360 feet accurately. Do that and you'll find yourself with a circle one putt for birdie. 
distance is the main challenge on hole 18. Nothing in the way but your own ability to throw 360 feet. Twice. Land anywhere you want on your first, but your second is guarded by these last two trees, preventing you from swinging it wide from either side. Oh, and miss the stump in the middle. Do that, and you might finish your round with one final birdie here at Tinica Park. This course does very well to add challenge with what the park has to offer. Plus, the variety of basket locations, some having five, leads to a new layout virtually every time you play. Beautifully designed tee signs explain this and the holes very well. Gravel tee pads aren't the ideal material, but they are maintained well, and new gravel is added on occasion. Dog and cart friendly, no bathrooms, but portable restrooms are available most of the year. Overall, I'll give Tinicum a 6 out of 10 for creating sneaky, challenging lines, having a good mix of open and wooded holes, and having the variety of basket locations without being confusing. Let me know if you plan to play this course and how it goes down in the comments. Until then, I'll see you in the next hole.